The whole process of doing a recording actually uh, oftentimes takes years. Um, obviously the night happens in one night or in two nights, as this case is, we're recording two nights, but um, it really starts with the song, uh, with what's on our heart, what God is saying to our church, and then taking what God is saying in our church and trying to say, God, what would you want to say through this? And really pr asking the prayer, God, what would you want your people to sing to you? And how would, what words would you want your people to say to you um, in, in a congregation or even in their own quiet time? So it starts with that process where we just say, God, what are you saying? And, and trying to uh, prophetically say what God is saying to the, to the people as well as what he wants the people to, to uh, sing to him. So that process, oftentimes, you know, the songwriting process is, is oftentimes a hurry up and wait process. Sometimes it happens quickly, sometimes it's a slow process. Uh, one of the songs that, that um, I wrote that's on this recording, I started writing probably three to three and a half years ago. Uh, but then when it comes to the production on all of this stuff that we do, uh, all the lighting and the, and the rehearsing and, and the staging, all of that usually starts about four or five months before, maybe sometimes six months before. Uh, probably should start about six months before, but depending on our, our schedule. Um, so that process lasts for a few months, getting prepared, getting the songs ready, getting the choir ready, and the, and the instrumentalists and the vocalists. Um, and that seems to be more like the icing on the cake than it really is the process. The process is really what's going on in our spirits and in our hearts, what God is speaking to us as a body of believers here at Gateway Church, as well as what He's speaking to us individually, and then being able to capture that uh, on DVD and CD and uh, being able to let others hear what God is saying, what God is doing. Worship to me is more than just a song, and worship actually truly is more than a song. If you look in the scriptures, the, the original definition of worship means to bow, to bow down, um, and really it's offering our whole lives, bowing our whole lives before the Lord and giving all that we are to the Lord. And Paul says it so clearly in Romans 12, 1, when he says, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the, in the view of God's mercy, uh, that you give yourselves completely to God. This is your spiritual act of worship, uh, laying your whole life down for the Lord. That's your spiritual act of worship. That's the true definition of what worship is. And when we sing on this platform and, and um, when our congregation is with us and all that we do together as a church, it's just more like a celebration of what goes on day to day, day in and day out in our own lives, and that is living our lives for the Lord.